1978. As an undercover intelligence officer, I was asked to monitor the local Ku Klux Klan. And then I placed a phone call to the local organizer. I told him that I wanted to join him to stop the abuse of the white race. God bless white America. I am the Black Klansman, Ron Stallworth. I established contact with the Grand Wizard David Duke in person through my white avatar of Chuck. They were deadly serious white supremacists. They said, there's going to be a race war in America. They said, we need to arm ourselves. The wars are coming. They were convinced that I was one of them. David Duke certified me as a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Come as friend, let's get invited back. This is why we need more people like you and me. <laughs> In the course of this investigation, we exposed the plan for the Holy War. White power! White power! This investigation should not have been successful. But now, my life is a Spike Lee Joy. Ah! Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View Review. So me and my sister went to see the movie uh, Black Klansman, directed by Spike Lee, produced by Jordan Peele. And I have to say that we actually enjoyed it. I actually liked the movie a lot. Um, I was hesitant to see this film when I first saw the trailer because it was giving me just heavy you know black exploitation vibes and I felt like is this just gonna be like a mockery about this detective and I was like uh, I don't know but then I kept seeing the reviews and I kept seeing um, Spike Lee and uh, Ron Stallworth you know do their press junkets for the movie and then I was like, okay, maybe I'll give it a chance. I'll, you know, see how it is. And it was your, just in my opinion, your old school, back to the roots, Spike Lee. Um, I just loved everything about it. Now, I have to give major, major props to Mr. John David Washington, the son of Denzel Washington, who I had no clue until I saw Torian Reigns review and he's like this is Denzel Washington's son I'm like oh really and he does sound like Denzel Washington it's, it's quite funny um but I thought he did a great job uh carrying this film and all the other actors and actresses as well and this right here just goes to show you uh that these so-called folks these so-called white supremacists who claim to be so smart so superior um and you guys know in the film, there's David Duke. And he says, oh, he knows when he's talking to someone who is black. He knows when he's talking to someone who is white. You know, and you're sitting up here like, oh, oh, really? And Ron Stallworth did an interview with Lester Holt from um, NBC Nightly News. And he even said that David Duke called him and was concerned about how he would appear in the movie. Okay. Uh, if he would appear like basically an idiot and Ron is like yeah you do come across as buffoonish you try to put on this um, act as though you're just so superior you're so smart but a black man basically conned you okay infiltrated the KKK <laughs> okay folks um, and it just it's just it's hilarious when you think about it so I guess that's where the comedic side comes out of this film um, and now I get what they were doing they're basically saying I mean this guy is an idiot okay <laughs> because I was like why I don't like I don't know if I'm gonna like if it's so you know taking on this slapstick kind of thing but at the same time I get it because it's showing you that this devil thought he was so smart but actually he he's not okay so uh with the film you get the humor you get the scenes where it pisses you off um and i love how spike lee merged yesterday's history with today's bs okay he did that perfectly <laughs> um the only thing that has changed when it comes to this country uh fashion changes um technology changes but racism never changes okay 
It's been here since forever. And God knows if it will ever end. Okay. Um, and that's what you take away from this. And especially in the times we're living in now, the way Spike Lee was able to uh, bring this out, uh, him and Jordan Peele, during the one year since the whole Charlottesville uh, white supremacist um, chaos happened, which killed Heather Heyer, a protester who was down there, um, you know, protesting against these devils, you know, and it just makes total sense to me. It, it's definitely needed. Um, so for me, I definitely will give it, if not 10 stars, definitely 9 out of 10. I mean, it's definitely Spike Lee at his best. Okay, because, you know, he's released some movies over the years. It's like, okay, it's been kind of hit or miss. But with this, I felt what he was doing. It's I feel like it's going to be a part of, you know, um, Do the Right Thing, uh, Crooklyn, Malcolm X. It's going to be in that, you know, that same arena. That's what I get from this. And, uh... I can tell you guys this, this won't be a spoiler review, it won't be like my Whitney Houston review where, you know, I went on and on and on, but, because I know uh, a lot of people probably want to see this film, so this will be a non-spoiler review, but I will say that um, even with the ups and downs in the film, um, you're on the edge of your seat, and towards the end of the film, it gets a little lighthearted, but then right before you know it it's like reality hits you in the face and I thought how they did that was great um, because it's just telling you that these devils have not changed they've only uh, passed on their hate their um, demonic nature and you better be on the lookout for it I thought that was great and you could feel the audience when that scene, the last scene came up, you felt just silence. You could hear a pin drop. And folks were just engulfed. And, you know, when it, once it was over, folks were clapping, giving standing ovations. And I'm like, okay, I guess this is a hit. Um, so, yeah, I, like I said, I enjoyed it. Um, it might not be for some folks. Some folks may be like, uh, not quite my thing. Um... I don't know how to feel about this to be amongst, you know, others watching a film like this, but I still felt it was important um, to remember, you know, this Ron Stallworth, he could have been killed. <laughs> okay, folks, um, this is really nothing to play with. You are going against a bunch of savage, uh, demonic folks who think um, that you're beneath them in the worst kind of way and for him to do this and still be alive to tell it <laughs> he should be thanking his lucky stars all right so I got to give it to him um, I got to give it to Spike and Jordan um, I enjoyed it you know great job kept me inter interested um, you know everything the clothing loved it you know they stayed on cue with um, you know how they spoke back then with you know the, you, you jive this right on you know the whole 70s lingo I loved it um, and it was just great it was great I, I enjoyed it Spike great job um, great job Jordan and to all the actors and actresses I enjoyed it uh, Mr. Washington will definitely be someone to watch out for. Uh, I think this is going to put him on the map. Definitely. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Do you plan on seeing the movie this weekend? Uh, let me know, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.